It was a huge night of SEC gymnastics inside the Maravich Center on Friday night. LSU and Arkansas. We have all of the highlights coming up for you next from the Eye of the Tiger inside LSU Gymnastics. Inside LSU Gymnastics with Dee Dee Bro, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. When experience matters, choose Women's Hospital. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Dow. For more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate to LSU. Go Tigers! And by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending, the way home buyers prefer it. Call David today to get pre-approved. 225-921-8152. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you by Williamson Cosmetic Center and Paranac Aesthetic Surgery, where you'll always place first with us. Hello again, Tiger fans, and welcome inside LSU Gymnastics, your week-over-week -week look at everything going on inside of the LSU Gymnastics program. We're delighted to have you with us once again from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center here on the LSU campus in Baton Rouge. Along with head coach Dee Dee Bro, I'm Mike Smith, and coach, it was an amazing effort by your Tigers inside the Maravich Center on Friday night. The Arkansas Razorbacks in yeah. a tough, tough SEC matchup. We've always had great meets against Arkansas. Well, and you know, when it's an SEC foe, it, it just tends to mean more. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the crowd, the, the, the spectacle of what we do for our gymnastics events here at LSU is amazing. It was a, it's a great, it was a great weekend on this campus. It when, was you know, we talked a little bit last week about mm -hmm. beach. Beach volleyball had a huge victory this sure weekend. Did. So it was, it was winning all over campus. It was indeed. As a matter of fact, Didi, you might not know, but the, the crowd in excess of over 12,100 yeah. Tiger fans on Friday night, the 10th time in program history we've gotten to 12,000 or more in the PMAC. That is quite a testament to the culture culture that That's Friday right. Night Heights has become. Well, and you know, the community has just gotten behind this program and we had a group in the landing this week from Napoleonville and so, I mean, there was just so much excitement going on and, and the enthusiasm outside the building was as much inside the building. And your Tigers on vaulting right off the bat. We had a chance to look through that lineup. It had yep. a bit of a different look and feel than what we've seen in previous weeks. Ruby Harold, kind of the high water mark. She wins vault for the fourth time mm -hmm. in her career. And she did a good job. You know, the, the overall picture on vaulting this weekend was not what we usually see. Kai Rivers was sick, so I mean, she wasn't even in the arena. She was so mm -hmm. sick. So, you know, not having her was huge. I felt like Maddie did a pretty good job mm -hmm. um, managing that vault. It's, the landing's got to come. We've got to get better as we move forward. But, uh, you know, having Kennedy back in that lineup helped a lot, and, and Ruby's one and a half, like you said, was very good. Good enough to win the meet. And two season highs for Maddie Rao, and also for Sammy Durante mm -hmm. as well on vaulting. And right off the bat, you guys do uh, mount a bit of a lead there with yeah. Arkansas go over to the uneven bars and I'll tell you right, right off the bat how about the career high from Kaya Johnson it was it was beautiful and you know when you start off you're our number one person and you start off just nailing handstands and sticking you dismount it's it does set the tempo 995 for the freshman an amazing effort but I'll tell you equally as amazing and we're going to talk a lot about Bridget Dean this yeah. week but in that number two spot in the uneven bars is just an amazing effort by her. Well you know we've we've talked a lot in our in our team meetings and also here in the gym about I call it polishing the rock. Mm -hmm. You know we've got the skills we're doing the right kind of gymnastics but we've got to we've got to have better extension we've got to have a, a higher level of performance and that's what Bridget did for us this weekend. And absolutely did. So you have a pair of career highs yeah. back to back right there. All of a sudden, then Alona Shinakova in the third spot. That is an amazing routine. Let's, let's show just the interior right here. That's a great. Every skill is a is a is a high level skill. It it, it has connective bonus. She got anxious on the dismount. She knew she was going to stick it. She got anxious and came off the bar just a little bit early, uh -huh. but it was high. So I mean, I, we're so excited about what that athlete is beginning to bring to us. And then by the time you get to Sammy Durante in the fourth spot, the Tigers are rolling. Jay Clark is over there absolutely apoplectic, absolutely excited yeah. about what the Tigers are producing. And Sammy, another strong 9.875. Well, Sammy, it, you know, one judge gave her a 9.9. I felt like a 9.9 was a score, but 
she set Kennedy up. Mm -hmm. Kennedy's back in the bar lineup. We need her in that event. That she really validates that event. We were without Kai in that event, so we're getting, mm -hmm. we're getting a little bit of depth there, and um, they really came to play. And I'll tell you what, Ruby Harold with another terrific uh, anchor mm -hmm. spot there. Yep. 9875 DDF, uh, probably something you're looking to get, probably nine nines or better in the anchor spot. Yeah, but you know what? She, she The routine was beautiful, but you know, she landed the dismount beautifully, yeah. a little, little bit of a shift, but you can't ask her to do more than she's doing. And I'll tell you what, the 49, 525 score mm -hmm. is a top 15 score in program history. That tells you exactly how good the yeah. Tigers were on the uneven bars on Friday night. So here you are. You're at 98.625 at the halfway point of the meet. You got to feel pretty good. Well, we did feel good, and we felt like bars kind of boosted us up and, and, and brought us some momentum going in the balance beam. Second half highlights are coming your way right after this quick timeout inside LSU Gymnastics. When you're expecting, you have expectations. But what if there was more? What if your caregivers were your teachers and your cheerleaders, and they helped you plan and prepare so you can have a voice in your care? This is the experience of a lifetime, and experience matters. Your experience starts with the Pregnancy Navigator at Woman's Hospital. At BMW, we didn't make just one SAV, we made the ultimate range of SAVs. With unmatched power, luxury, and performance, the BMW X Range is prepared for any road you travel. No matter who you are, no matter where you're going, no matter what's next, there's an X to take you there. Get exceptional offers from the Louisiana BMW Center, the official luxury vehicle of LSU Athletics. And that ball oh, is yeah. gone. Quite a run for the Tigers. If it weren't for them, this would just be the guy who brings me pizza. We would have run out of things to talk about a long time ago. He'd just be the loud guy in 4B. We'd have nothing in common. We'd still just be friends. And we'd all be strangers. Cox, we're Tiger fans too. Hey Blakely, it's Ruby. Hey Harper, can you pose like Ruby? I think we got it, good job. Hey Molly, look. Gymnastics tickets, holy cow, they're cheaper than a movie. Holy cow, be a part of the 2020 season as the LSU gymnastics team takes the floor in the Maravich Assembly Center. Watch the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back SEC champions as they compete for four in a row. LSU Gymnastics. Earn it. Own it. We're born to be loud. Born to be strong. Born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all. On the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Is there any finer gymnastics training center on this planet than right here in Baton Rouge? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're biased and I am too, but I think the experts agree yep. that the LSU Gymnastics Training Center is the best that there is. And I'll tell you, Dee, your beam effort against the Arkansas Razorbacks on Friday night inside the Meribich Center, are, you, it's that, that lineup's coming together. They're doing a great job. And, you know, a lot of what, what they do over there, you know, um, Ashlyn Kirby is kind of the, the keeper of the book over there, you know, mm -hmm. checking hits and, and really doing a, a super job for me over there. And um, I could not have asked the kids to perform any better than they did. Christina, you know, back in doing two events for us, solid Desiderio gave us a great start on that event and kind of set the pace moving forward on that lineup. But, you know, here again, let's talk about Bridget Dean, superlative superlative performance. You know, we, we're talking to her a lot about body position, nice tight legs, pointing your toes, the little bitty details that go into a 9-9 performance 
and above. 985 performance for Bridget Dean. And of course, all these great highlights are brought to you as always by our friends at TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. And then Alona Shinikova, how great to see her on the balance beam for Friday night. Yeah. And I think the crowd got a little taste of what they're going well, to see. Well, you know, there, there's such a youthful enthusiasm with her, and, and she trains with a youthful enthusiasm. <laughs> and, you know, that's a, that's a new addition for us. We, right. we have kind of paced her, Achilles tendon, mm -hmm. coming back from that, that she came in with. But um, her skills are beautiful. Her leap combination is getting better. Um, the, the dismount is a new dismount for, for her. She used to do a round-off double back in the, in the elite program. But uh, I felt like that was too much dismount for her on an Achilles right. tendon. So we are the back handspring, back gainer off the side of the beam. She got anxious. She hit her set, then gets anxious on the dismount. But we can forgive that for right now because I think that's that's a great beam routine that's going to give us a lot over the next three, three, three more years moving forward. So you've got freshman gives way to a senior and right. Kennedy Edney, and then Kennedy steps up and just wows this crowd. Best beam routine I've seen her do in a very long time. Mm -hmm. She's capable cable every week but you know Kennedy is is just like this little thing that just floats around and you know said so you're gonna hit her and she did a great job for us at the all-around she was beautiful Friday night was indeed and then how about Reagan Campbell absolutely yeah. brilliant one judge goes 10-0 the other one was probably wanting to and maybe wish that she had when it was all said yeah. and done yeah but it was nine, beautiful nine, seven, five. It, it was beautiful and, and I guess here a, a great team effort and without Kaya in that mm -hmm. in that uh, fourth or fifth spot. I think right. she she sets up uh, Reagan, so she's usually in the fifth spot. But uh, you know, here we didn't need her. Uh -huh. We didn't need her. We're going to rest her as much as we can. Try to get her really as as strong as we can possibly get her for the postseason. But um, you know, they they took their enthusiasm from beam to floor. 49-325 beam effort gives way, and look at what you do. You start off with Ruby Harold, mm -hmm. and it gets that elusive. 9-9 nine, nine score that she <laughs> yeah, has been looking for yeah. on floor exercise, it seems like, for decades. You know, her landings were good. She's got amplitude. She loves that routine. It's a lot of energy, high energy. There's no place in that routine where she is not moving. Absolutely does. And then yeah. Christina Desideri, who you mentioned, great to have her back on yeah. the floor as well. Ties her career high with a 9-9 nine, nine, right after and her, Ruby. Her, her tumbling was, was solid. You know, she opens with a double layout, which I think is the, is the little bit of bump that she gets at when she, by following Ruby. Just a little more difficulty. We had a little meet and greet <coughs> with some of our great friends of the program yeah. after the meet, and I made the remark that I didn't know what was bigger, her double layout on the first pass oh, or the, the smile oh, after the fact. Oh, the energy <laughs> in her face, yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, talk about, talking about energy in her face, Courtney Goodrich, uh -huh. um, a walk on, first opportunity to compete because here again we're holding Kaya out, uh -huh. so it was an opportunity for her to go in the lineup. And she practices with this this serious stone face and never puts energy and enthusiasm in her training. Well, she opened up with a beautiful tumbling pass. Her second pass was great, but she tried to perform the routine and just ran out of gas. <laughs> so, you know, that, that routine is going to get better and we're happy to have it as a, as a backup because I think that she's going to be strong and durable. And then how about Bridget Dean? Here she comes. She ties her career high mm -hmm. 9875 yep. score. Probably a good moment for us to pause and say that she is our exceptional performer of the week. Absolutely. You know, she gave us three great events she she trains like she practices there's a lot of a lot of seriousness she you know we we call it getting into her hourglass she spends this time and then it gets more narrow she competes and then she comes out before she goes to her next routine and she talks about her hourglass and and how she prepares to compete and you just don't get in her zone when she's there woman's hospital brings you our exceptional performer of the week each and every week when experience matters choose woman's hospital bridget dean Junior from Fort Myers, Florida is our exceptional performer and well, well deserved. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But there was work yet to be done on the floor <laughs> exercise. Of course, the Tigers are flirting with a 197 yeah, home it score. Yeah, it was our stated uh, intention. It was to compete with that kind of consistency because consistency wins. Uh, we had, you know, Courtney with put all that enthusiasm, yeah. had a little bit of break at the end. And then Reagan Campbell had a beautiful routine going, had a little break in the end, and we're like, Holy smoke. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, so we're, okay, now let's get a, a 197 plus a little bit. Right. Kennedy goes up, and probably the best Arabian we've seen her do yes. um, this season. A beautiful routine, and um, like, well, it was, a, it was rewarded properly. 
It was indeed. Matter of fact, someone asked me afterwards if maybe Kennedy had some ice crystals on her Leo. She was so high, <laughs> Everything came down was and high. dropped it. Everything was great. And really dropped it and then and then boof. As you say, 197, 125 final score for your fighting tigers. You defeat Arkansas five and two yeah. in the SEC during the regular season. But how about this? Undefeated in the month of February. I'll take that all day long, especially with the little setbacks of injuries that we've had to deal with. And this team has rallied and, and backed each other up, and we've gotten walk-ons or other people ready. And so, I mean, it's it's been a it's been a team effort, total effort, all members. More to come right after this quick timeout inside LSU Gymnastics. This spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first time home buyers, offering conventional FHA, VA, RD construction, and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today at 921 8152. That's 921-8152. David Alello with Assurance Financial. When company comes to town, company's coming! We go all out. All you got to do is get down here and visit Baton Rouge. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all on the field, in the stands and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU has a vision for tomorrow. One that shows what fierce can do. Out of love for our neighbors and pride in our state, we give all we have because ours is a spirit without equal. Unyielding, unstoppable. Making our big world much better. LSU. Fierce minds. Fierce hearts. Fierce for the future. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you by Dow. For more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate for LSU. Go Tigers! Welcome back, Tiger fans, inside LSU Gymnastics. For over 60 years, Dow has been a trusted partner of your fighting Tigers. Dow says, go Tigers, and Dow sponsors our weekly feature, DD. And this week, it's about our Tiger seniors. Of course, we're talking about Kennedy Edney, Ruby Harold, and Ashlyn Kirby. Well, you know, we had a Dow group at the meet. We did. Um, so they got to see these seniors in action. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud that they're, they sponsor this part. Exactly. But, um, great seniors, great leadership, but great gym gymnastics. Um, Ashlyn Kirby it did three years of, of competing and, and just, you know, her body was like, can't do this anymore and stepped into a role of, of manager and she's kind of like my, my person on the floor that, that helps me and uh, she's done a beautiful job managing and, and like I said, counting the numbers, counting what we're doing on beam and taking care of the details over there so I can do floor and beam at the same time. And then of course we mentioned Kennedy and Ruby, mm -hmm. two mainstays in these lineups yeah. for the past four years. Couldn't have done it without them all the way through the final four. Well, that's seven events right there. Hey. You know, Ruby yeah. doesn't do beam, but um, that's seven solid events. I'd, I'd be willing to bet most meets all of their scores count. We had a chance to sit down and catch up with the three great LSU gymnastics seniors. You're going to enjoy this feature. This team has meant a lot to me. I'm, we've fought through everything together from the beginning of fall, really. And um, 
it's cool to see how the growth of the team has become as we are heading into the postseason. Coming in in August, I knew that being a senior, you have to naturally be a leader and you have to actually lead by example. And leading by example, I feel comes naturally to me, but leading, being vocal leader was really far out of my comfort zone. So having to kind of step into that role was a real challenge and continues to be a real challenge for me. So this year was obviously very different for me just because I went from being an athlete and being on the gymnastics team and doing the gymnastics to kind of taking a step back and more so being in a coach's role. Um, it was really interesting at first just to find the right dynamic between being teammates and friends and then also having a responsibility over on the beam to um, just make sure that everyone's where they needed to be. It's cool to have um, Ashlyn do that. Um, it's kind of different, which is, it's cool. It's great for both the team and for her. I think this senior class as a whole just grew up so much from freshman year to senior year in the way that we went about our business in and outside the gym, um, in the classroom, just life in general, really. Um, I have on my camera roll, I have it divided into like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. And every time we're going to an away meet on the plane, since there's nothing else to do, I just go through those pictures. And it's so funny just seeing those and seeing the different teammates that you were with and also just kind of seeing how each person on the team this year filled the role of that person that was last year. You know, so every individual's like personalities and qualities really do. Um, they change over time, but they also stay true to who you are. I feel like there's a certain culture within athletics here that no other kind of group on campus feels. And when I try to explain the pride that I feel for this program, it's hard to it's hard to think about another school feeling the same pride as I do because I feel this immense joy and this it really is a prideful feeling to be a part of this program. Um, I guess what's unique about it is that else you chose me, else you chose. Ruby to come across the world and to be a part of their program and to feel the love and the family orientation that the LSU family brings, whether it's from boosters, whether it's from fans, whether it's from the coaches, the teammates. It's just this whole, this one big happy family and it really is that and it's, there's no other word to describe the love that you feel from each member of this community. What once began as an idea, a hope, a prayer, has become real. A mission to serve, a call to heal, and a vision to create a healthier tomorrow has come alive. A team of dreamers with one dream. To build something life-changing for Louisiana's children. Something special for me, for you, for all. This dream created something amazing. A beacon of hope. Of healing. Of home. What once began as an idea has become a shared passion to change the lives of future Louisiana generations. Thank you for believing in amazing. Thank you for believing in us. Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital in Baton Rouge. It's Ford Truck Month, and if this is your kind of day, and this is your kind of truck, then this is your month. Ford Truck Month. Now, get great deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 43 years. Like F-150 with 0 for 72 and 3750 bonus cash, plus zero down and zero payments for 90 days. Only at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. At Deli de Bozier, we're proud to serve Tiger Nation as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. To us, that means when one of you gets knocked down, we're there to pick you up. And hopefully, we're making Louisiana a little safer in the process. We take pride in fighting for our fellow Tiger fans. It's a great responsibility, but even a greater honor. Demand Dudley de Bozier, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. 
LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. Our look ahead is always brought to you by Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. This look ahead, Didi, we're going on the road here to Texas Woman's yeah. University in Denton, Texas, just to the north of the Dallas Metroplex area. Another opportunity and a quad meet. Well, and you know, they've had a great program winning, you know, Division II national championships, and they're very, very competitive, and they actually host our national championships whenever we're at, in Fort Worth. In Fort Worth. So um, they're a, a program that gives a lot back to the sport of women's gymnastics collegiately. And your goals looking ahead into TWU, I know health yeah. and, and probably a little bit of on the scoring side. Well, we want to score well, you know, the stay in the process, no clutter, let's just go over there and, and take one event at a time. We'll start on bars, mm -hmm. which is in all probability where we would probably be starting this year at SEC's. Right. Um, so, you know, we do kind of control our destiny. We get two more events, two more before we go to SEC's. We control our destiny. Let's have a good meet this weekend, a good meet, senior night, and um, um, that could rally us back into the top four and, you know, move us where we want to be for the SEC championships. I think she just absolutely encapsulated yep. every bit of it yep. right there. So there will be look four teams on the floor. So, you know, we're, we're kind of excited that it's going to emulate the SEC championships. It's going to be fantastic. And, of course, we invite you to go to lsutix.net, looking around the corner to March 13th on Senior Day, yeah. as you said, Didi. Some tickets still available, but as I'm told, not many. So you better grab what you can. Well, and you know what else? I'm going to be at TJ Ribs on um, the I think the Wednesday before our yep. final home meet as their guest hostess. I've done that in the past to, to, to give away some free tickets. We don't have a lot, but to give away some free tickets at that lunch crowd at TJ Ribs uh, on, Stan on Stanford. That is good. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be absolutely tremendous. Well, Dee Dee, great to be with you again this week inside LSU Gymnastics. Thank you, Tiger fans, for joining us as always. We look forward to bringing you the highlights of the TWU and taking a look ahead at Arizona State final home meet of the season on the 13th next week right here inside LSU Dramatics.